I was speaking with my colleagues the other day and we were discussing how busy recruiters are right at this moment in time, which is great news, of course. The reality is though, is you know, the challenge we face is how to help organisations transition from being transactional contingent CV suppliers into a more consultative retained recruitment model. Now when you're so busy, you know, you're really in there, actually really busy sort of filling all the roles that you can do. Uh, and I want to come back to that particular point about when I say filling all the roles, but when you're busy working on all of those roles, you sometimes think, where am I going to get the time to make the uh, transition? And what we find is that most organisations and most recruiters don't know a key statistic. And that key statistic, and I'd like you to think about it, is what is my fill rate? Now, it's a fascinating question to ask yourself, and I've asked myself that question many times when I was a recruiter. And the surprising uh, output that I received, uh, that I learned when I went through this, was actually my uh, organisation's fill rate was as low as 10%. Now you're probably thinking, oh, mine's much better than that. Maybe it's 20%, you know, which means one in five. But I implore you to actually uh, evaluate what your current fill rate is. You see, even if you're busy, you can find that you're a busy fool. You're chasing your tail. You're trying to find candidate CVs in a tough market to actually fill roles that actually you're never, ever going to fill. So what can you do if you're really busy to make that step? Well, that's where I say, identify what your current fill rate is and then say to yourself, why am I working for free? Why am I working 80% of my life for free? And so I'd say stop. Take a real close look at which clients you really do work well with. Don't just take on vacancies because there are vacancies out there. You know, it's very easy for employers to engage with the recruiter and say, please help me, go and find somebody. But we've got to say, no. There is no point in me doing that work because I'm not going to get paid for it. So what we do at iIntro is we help you with that transition. We help you pitch something different to the employer that makes the employer sit up and say, that's what I want. And when you do that, you'll find that the employer is more likely to retain you. And even if they don't retain you at that particular moment in time, maybe you'll pick up the work on an exclusive contingent basis, in which case that's going to be better for you than actually being amongst the, the muck and bullets of all the other 5, 10 or 15 recruiters who are currently chasing that vacancy. And that's what you can do. Just stop, slow down, take a close look at what you're doing and see whether it's something that you want to move away to. If you want us to help you, please do get in touch with us. Either myself or one of my colleagues uh, will discuss with you how we can help you make that transition. We've been down this path many, many times before and we're confident we can help you do the same. So please just click on the link below and get in touch with us. Every Tuesday we produce new videos, so please do subscribe to our channel where we'll share amazing content about how you can transition to the world of retained recruitment.